me, I think it was how the program, one of the things was how the program was aligned to what's really happening in schools in terms of personal reflection. Um, I've been told that I'm really good with my reflections and yeah. that's something that is encouraged in schools, you know, you continually mm. have to reflect on yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. And in that course we had to yeah. reflect and really yeah. analyse what, what was going right in our practice and yeah. what wasn't. And why. And why, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. find a way forward. Yes, that's yeah. right. I think just to touch on what um, Jess said as well about because it was so intense, if you didn't have a really supportive yeah. group of people yeah. around you, there were so many times I thought, oh my god, I, would do, I can't do, do it, this, I can't yes. do it. But, but because <coughs> we had that support from staff and I could go to you or yeah. someone yeah. else yeah. Um, and friends and you just, you know, you wanted everyone to succeed. Yes. Yeah. We learnt last year that if we were in strife, there was no point in holding, no. holding it and soldiering on on your own. Mm. And that there were all of these people, mm. you know, the, our peers and then the, the lecturers and things who were there willing to help us. Yeah. So that yeah. learning community that we yeah. did establish exactly. last year was enabled you to seek help and feel well, there was expertise in the group. And, you know. Exactly. So you say that the classroom inquiry paper did set you up for this kind of inquiry. If I hadn't done the paper I would have had no idea. I'd be like, what is this? Yeah. What are we doing? You know, I would feel really confused yeah. as to, right. because you get the form of whatever our school's doing. So like, what's your inquiry? What are the things that you could do? We can go get to support. Yeah. What's your evidence? Yeah. If I hadn't done that paper, yeah. I would have probably felt quite overwhelmed mm -hmm. and felt quite alone to have to figure that all out for myself. But it was quite familiar. Yeah, yeah like quite familiar. Done done oh, I've done this. Yeah. This isn't going to be too hard. I mean, I talked about with you a lot, like being authentically yourself um, within my classroom. Just my behaviour management is a lot different from others in the school. Yeah. And just struggling with um, having like a tutor teacher who's very, very different and very, st not stern, but just not my style and I'm just mm -hmm. finding it hard by saying well, you need to work on this, you need to work on that, but it not being me yes. and not being how I want my classroom to run and knowing whether or not that is okay. And I find myself always thinking back to yeah. our conversations around yes. about it being me and I want it to be me as a teacher. Mm -hmm. <coughs> how I would deal with it as a person. No. Mm -hmm. No, I love these children. I know the primary focus for them is learning, but the way that I deal with them mm -hmm. has to be me and it can't yes. be anything else and that's something I've struggled with a bit I feel like I'm coming to a good balance yeah. now in the middle of the yeah. year making sure that you're authentically yourself